I'm going to say a thing to you, and I mean it. No one ever believes me that I mean this, but I mean this. You all need to go to Florida more. <laughs> I'm serious. In Florida, people say shit to you like, you got to try the chicken at this gas station. <laughs> it is an incredible place. So I was in Florida. I was eating dinner at a gas station. Because a guy said to me, you gotta try the chicken at this gas station, and I believed him, because that's not a thing you say when you wanna be friends. <laughs> I went into the gas station, the fried chicken had its own counter in the back. I went up to the counter and I said, I'll have the eight pieces, please, because eight pieces of fried chicken was three dollars. <laughs> and the guy just fires right back, you want 16 pieces, it's four dollars. And I was like, fucking yeah, man, I was born in America, yes. <laughs> Is 32 $5? Is 64 free for some reason? Yeah, let's fucking do this, man. So I agree to his <laughs> 25 cent pieces of chicken. And then he asked me this question that I will never forget for the rest of my life. He goes, you want wings or big chicken? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I've ordered chicken so many times. I don't pick that, you pick that. It comes in all kinds of shapes. I pick what? Also, those are such extremes. You want juice frosting or more cake? What? I don't know. Both? I mean, I went with big chicken. Just on the off chance he's gonna give me 16 whole chickens for $4. So he hands me this tray of uh, admittedly big. <laughs> pieces of chicken, they were large. He was right, and I was stoned, so I was so happy. I don't know how long it took me to order these things, uh, because my friends were gone. So I'm alone, and I am stoned, and I have so much chicken, I am so happy. And I start walking out of the gas station, just singing to myself, chicken, 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 <laughs> so happy. And then my happiness was taken away by the introduction of a character that we will call Tweaker. Um, this guy just jumped and, oh my God, he came out of nowhere. He just popped out of the bushes, but there were no bushes. What is it about people on meth? Every single person I have ever met who was on meth wasn't there, and then they were there. Every single person. This guy jumps right in front of me and goes, give me your chicken. Dude, I fucking hate confidence in adults. I cannot stand it. How did you get this way? You know what I'm talking about? These people that just go through their life like, yeah, what's up? I'm fine. I got enough money. I don't question my friendships. Fuck you. <laughs> Everything's fine. Go to hell. That's what this guy was like. Give me your chicken. So confident. I literally, it took me 10 seconds to realize I didn't have to give it to him. I thought I had to. I was just like, what is, is there some weird leaving the building tax? Is that why there's so many pieces for so little money? You're gonna lose 75% of your chicken to Bill in the front there. So buy 16, because you are getting four. <laughs> and you know, I got picked on in high school. So I was like, <laughs> be brave, Dave. You never stood up for yourself. Stand up for yourself now. <laughs> Don't give this guy your chicken. You used to try to be friends with the bullies. Don't do it. So this guy goes, give me your chicken. I looked him dead in his face and said, fuck no. And then he goes, uh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> and walked away. And I felt so victorious about that. Oh my God. I really felt like I overcame something. I was just like, fuck yeah, dude. And finally, you are strong now. Yes. I really felt so powerful. Anyway, that's the story of the time I refused to give food to a hungry person, then threw 13 pieces of chicken in the trash. <laughs> yeah. High school just never stops coming at you, you know what I mean?